Hi there, and welcome to today's class. So in the next 50 or so minutes, we are gonna dedicate to just building full on strong muscles, working the entire body, getting a little cardio in between because it's always a good thing, but definitely working on strength training today as our main exercise goal. So are you guys with me? Let's get started. Let's bring both feet out, take a big deep breath up and exhale, round it over. And from here, just kind of turn to one side slightly, get one side and then turn to the other, hold it there. Bring it back to center, big deep breath. And exhale, pull both arms back and behind you, lift up the chest nice and high and hold. Hold it there. Drop those arms down just a little bit, big deep breath. And exhale, pull them back up and hold it. And bring that in, let's just step side to side. Getting ourselves warmed up. Okay, so what are we doing today? We are going to be focusing on strength training, full body. I'm gonna leave you guys sore from head to toe. That way you don't forget me. <laughs> okay, Charlie here, take it into a leg curl. One after the other, there we go. Full inhale, full exhale, and then pull the knee up on one side and back on the other. That's it, keeping the abdominals in nice and tight. There we go, remember posture is key with our training. One more time and bring it back to center, pull it back behind you. There we go. And take it to the other side, pull it up and press back. Lift up and back, full inhale, full exhale. There we go, press it up and back one more time. Bring it center, take it in right here. Pull it in and we're gonna move over in two. So it's one and two, take it over and two again. So you can make this move as big or as small as you want. So you can try to really work it to the other end or you can just make it small and kind of glide over. Your choice, full inhale, full exhale, pull it back. Now take that heel out and the other side. Press it out and the other side again. Pull it up one more and take it out. This time we're gonna hold it right here and you're gonna sit back and hold. Take a big deep breath and exhale. Bring it center and just round that back up and press it down. Pull it up and press down one more time. Bring it up, press it down. Now push one shoulder down and take it to the other side and hold. There we go, let's pull this leg back now that we're here. Hold it right here. Push those hips back, really get it all the way through the hamstring and bring it center. Let's march it out. So here's what we're gonna do. You're gonna lift up and back down and lift. It's like, a, it's like a two second hold. Just hold and bring it down. Now, kick the heel out and bring it down. Kick it out and bring it down. I want you to think heel, push it out and hold. It's kind of like holding it just enough for someone to take a picture. Here we go. Press it up, back down and take it up and take it up. One more on each side. Press it up and up. Now we're gonna take it to the side and press it out, back down, and up. So same thing, split second hold, bring it down. Take it up and back down. Press it up and back down. Oh, I went too fast, hold it, there we go, take it down. And hold it, bring it down. Press up, and up, one more on each side. Take it up, and press, bring it back to center, hold it here. So leading with one leg, Let's just take it the right leg, okay? So you're gonna step right forward and back so that your right leg leads, it takes you forward. Full inhale, full exhale, press it up, step it back, bring it up and back. One more, now take it side, step side and in, step side and in, one more. Now take it forward, bring it up and back. Now take it side, step side and in. Take it up and back, bring it side and in. Forward and back, take it side and in, two more. Up and back, take it side and in, one more time, up. Press it back, take it side, bring it in, just march it right here. We got the left leg, so we're gonna step forward and back, only forward and back, forward and back. Press it up and step it back. There you go, full inhale, full exhale. Press it up and take it back, bring it up and back, one more. Now take it side, step it side and in, 
side. Now this time forward, we go left, right, step back to the side, out and in. Take it forward and take it side. And bring it forward and take it side. Again, take it forward and press it side. There we go, forward and take it side. Two more, bring it forward and take it side. One more, take it forward and bring it side and march it out. March it out, okay. So we learned this the other day. We're gonna do it again today, okay? It's a good one. So your squat is gonna be hip distance, right? Right where your hip bones are at. And you sit back and you keep your knees always over your ankles or the middle of your foot, but never your toes. Okay, and we're gonna come up. So we're gonna go down. Now we're gonna come up. We're gonna step the right leg back. You're gonna do one lunge, come back up, one squat. The other leg, step it back, take it down, bring it up, and squat. There you go. Take that back, bring it down, take it up, and squat. Now, the key to this is, is not to get carried away with just trying to get the choreography, per se, right? The key is your biomechanics, which means how you're moving your body and where you're placing yourself. So those knees, they have to stay sitting back, okay? Sit down into it, lunge back, even when you're doing your lunge, your knee is always over that midfoot or ankle. Press it down and take it back. One more. Bring it down, other leg. Take it back. Ah, and bring that up. Okay, so let's get some heavier weights, right? I got my eight pounders and we're gonna take it out into a plie right here. So you're gonna come down and up and I want you to push the knees out and squeeze up from the tush. Really think about what you're doing. Full inhale, full exhale. There we go. You got four and three. Now two, one more time. Hold it down. We're gonna take these weights up on our shoulders, okay? Now, just the knees, push them in, press them out. Full inhale and exhale. Your feet stay completely flat to the floor. There we go, press it in and out. It's four and three. Now two and one. Bring that in. Take these arms down here, okay. So keeping the hands right by you, bend those knees slightly, and I want them hip distance apart. We're gonna curl, and then we're gonna sit. And we're gonna curl, and we're gonna sit. Remember, sitting the hips way back. Press it way back and up, there you go. Now, as you do your squat, I need you to be looking forward towards me. If you're looking down at the ground, then you're gonna let your back come forward and you're gonna put a lot of stress in the lower back. So, I need you to be looking up. Keep that chest always up towards me. Press it down and pull up. There we go, press down and take it up. You got four, press it up. This is three, take that down, two, one more, and bring that up. Good. Shake that out a little bit. Okay, let's take some lighter weights. I've got my trusty cans, but little weights will do too, okay? And all we're gonna do is just go straight out to the side. Straight out, okay, now, kind of like a crow. Bring one leg up. I feel like Karate Kid, right here. Now, push the heel out and bring it in. There we go, full inhale, full exhale. Now remember, when you're balancing, you gotta really sit up straight. The minute you slouch, you're going down. So think tall, pull your chest up. There we go, push through the heel. You got four. And this is three. And two. And one, awesome, okay. Now let's take the elbows in, right here. Other leg comes up. And we're gonna go out, and we're gonna go in. So think of your upper arm as a hinge, and you are just opening and closing the door. Got it, press through the heels, really push. There you go, make that muscle tighten up. The top of the thigh has to tighten. Full inhale, full exhale. There we go, press it out. You've got five and four. It's three, two, one more, and one. Ha, ah, bring that down. Cool, okay, now, we're not done with these, okay. We're gonna stand up, small bend in the knee, both arms are gonna come up, and I just want you to take them behind the head. 
So think of the elbows, aim them up to the ceiling, and press it up. Now, here's what I want you to think about. So some of these exercises, you may be like, ooh, this weight's too light, the other one's too heavy. Don't worry, because we're gonna create such a variety today that you're gonna end up getting all your muscles worked with just the right weight. So don't worry, take your time. And even if the weight is light, I want you to pretend like it's super heavy. So I'm sitting here trying to think about squeezing my triceps as I push it up, even though the cans are a little light, okay? Press it up, four, and three. Now two, and one. Bring that down. So let's get our bigger weights again. Abs are nice and tight here. We're gonna bend over halfway, knees are bent. This is what I want you to think about. Tailbone pushes back, chest lifts up, and you're just gonna pull both elbows up. Small bend in the knees. Think of your back. If it starts rounding, that's putting stress on your lower back. So I need your back extended as much as you can, as straight as you can. Now, when you pull up those elbows, think about squeezing the shoulder blades together. Press it back, together. There we go. And it's five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome, let's bring those down. Guess what? We're doing this thing again. The squat lunge thing, that's what we're doing. So feet hip distance apart, squat. There we go, step back and lunge and squat and lunge. That's it. Watch where your knee placement is. Keep those abs really, really tight. There we go, press it down. Take it back and lunge, there. Squat and lunge. Take it down and press back, good. Sit into it, take it back. Press it down, full inhale, full exhale. And if you're moving at a little slower pace than me, that's okay too. I want you to go at a pace that you feel like, oh, I can control this movement. Because if we start exercising and we get sloppy because we're trying to keep up, we're not really helping ourselves. So watch what you're doing. Press it down, one more on each side. Take that down, bring it down again, press that back. Ah, and bring that up. Okay, let's get our weights again. We're gonna go back into a plie, stepping it out, and press down. There you go, chest is up high, full inhale, full exhale. You've got four, and three. Now two, and it's one. Hold it right here. Take those arms down. We're gonna pull up. There we go, now sit up nice and tall. Think elbows out to the side, press it up, and four, three, two, and one. Okay, hold it down. Let those knees come in and out, really small, keeping yourself low. Feet are totally flat into the floor. Press it in, four more, three, two, and one. Ah, shake that out, okay. Here we go. Feet it down. We're gonna go straight down to our squat and we're gonna curl up. These are called hammer curls when we have the dumbbell straight up and down like that. That's it. Now remember, chest is up towards me. You're not looking at the floor and you're sitting back with the hips. Press it back. And if you feel like, wow, I'm trying, but I can't really sit back, then make the movement smaller. Don't go down as low because your knees are more important. So really try to treat them the right way. Here's four more, and three. Now two, and one, awesome. Okay, let's put our mat down on the ground, although we'll come back up to standing again, but let's start here. Mat down, ah, oh. coming straight down, bring the feet together, big deep breath, nice and tall, and exhale and chest forward and hold. There you go, inhale again. And exhale, hold it. Let's take one leg out and just stretch over that leg, pull the toes back towards you. See, I like to add in a lot of stretching in between. And the reason I do that is when you contract a muscle, you basically pull all the oxygen out. 
and then it kind of tears up. It sounds bad, but it's not bad. It just tears up so it becomes stronger. But when we can keep adding in more oxygen and oxygen, it makes the exercise safer, A, and it makes your recuperation time quicker, which is a big plus. Hold it there. Okay, so sitting up nice and tall, turn the toes out. From the inside of the knee, I want you to lift that leg up and down. Now, think torso. You've got to be sitting up really straight, really, really straight. And really turn the toes out so that the inside, your inner thigh, is what's pulling up. There we go. Keep pulling in from the abs, lifting up from the chest. Five more. And four. Now three, two, and one. Bring that down. Other side. Leg goes out, turn it out. Pull yourself up nice and tall. And press that up. There we go. Full inhale, full exhale. Pull that up. That's it. Keep pulling in from the abdominals really tight. Press it up and back down. Press it up. There we go. And you got to keep breathing. Remember, we're trying to stretch out so we can get the oxygen, but we got to breathe so we bring it back in too. You got four. Keep pulling yourself tall. Three, two, and one. Oh, stretch over those legs. And you're going to bring yourself out here. We're going to do our modified roll up, but with both legs. So, pulling up first. Then you start tucking under, pull the abs in real tight, let your legs kind of walk back and then let your knees come with you so they allow you to come down, but really gentle, big deep breath. Exhale, up in a high crunch, push your feet as far out as you can and then lift up your chest. And then tuck it under, tuck it under, start to go back, there we go, big deep breath. Exhale, pull it up, squeeze tight and push those feet out to pull you back up. And bring it back, tuck it under, Tuck it under, there we go, inhale, and exhale, press that out, and pull that up. Taking it back, tuck it under, tuck it under, there we go, inhale, and exhale, press it out, and lift it up, good. And take it back, there we go, tuck it under, bring it in, big deep breath, and exhale, push it out, push it out, push it out, and lift up. And again, take it back. Press it under and pull, big deep breath. And exhale, press, push through those heels and lift up tall. There we go, big deep breath. And exhale, come down, you got two more. And curl it up as tight as you can, push those feet out, yes, and lift up. One more time, tuck it under. And actually we will stay here and just hug those knees into the chest. And let's take both arms out, let the knees fall to one side. Hold it and bring that up. Take it over to the other side and hold. Hold it, hold it, and bring it back to center. Both feet in, they're about hip distance apart. We're gonna slowly curl up into a bridge. So you want a straight line from the knee all the way to the shoulder and force the shoulders really far back into the mat, right there. And then just roll through the spine back down, waist touching before the tush does, and then press through. And again, bring that up all the way up. And then press that down. One more. And then take this one up. We're going to hold it right here. Okay, here's what we're going to do. Leg goes up, flex that foot. Now, right now you feel balanced. You feel right centered, okay? Flex the foot, take it to the side, and you can only go it as far as you can control this leg. And then you got to pull it back in from the inner thigh. So take it out, you want it to feel really centered like both your weight is on both shoulders and then just take it to that one point where you feel like you can't hold it anymore and bring it back in. Take it out and back in. Now this hip needs to stay up. So don't let it fall. Press it up. There we go, full inhale and full exhale. And you've got four, press that up. And this is three, keep lifting up this tush. And two, there we go, one more time. Press it down and bring that up, oh, bring that down. There we go, roll through the spine down once. Get comfy, don't get too comfy. Come back up, there we go, now we're on top. Other leg goes up. So hold yourself up, find where you're at. So the goal is once you put your hips up at this one height, don't let them lower from there. So they stay there, center your weight in your shoulders and now come out to the side 
and bring it in. There you go. Let the inner thigh really use all its muscles to pull in, take it up and back down. Keeping that tush up in the air, keeping your shoulder, re your weight really even on both shoulders. Press it up. Full inhale, full exhale. You've got five and four. This is three, two, one more time, and one. Bring that down. Roll it all the way back down again. Okay, bring the feet together. Roll it back up again. So now we're up, really get it high, and work the knees out to the side, and then bring them back in completely together, and push out and press that in. Take it out and back in, good. Full inhale, full exhale. Press that out, push it in. Take it out and in. You've got four and three. Now two and one. Bring that in and slowly bring that down. Yes, pull those legs in. Ah. Okay, let's flip over. And what's next? Push-ups, we love push-ups. Push-ups are a great exercise. It's like the great vanity part exercise. Okay, so here's what I want you to think about though in today's push-ups. You're on your knees no matter what. I want you to focus on trying to go down as low as you can and then push up, okay? So you're staring at the floor, take it down low, push up. Abdominals, especially when you push, they get tight. So you go down, you pull your abdominals in and you push straight up, there we go. Keeping those abdominals all the way in, all the way in. You've got four and three. Now two and one. Hold it right here. Okay, left leg. Lift it up, squeeze the glute as tight as it can be. Your body still needs to be a straight line from the knee to the shoulder, so you're still in a push-up position, but you're gonna lift and lower this glute. Full inhale, full exhale. Keep those abdominals tight. That's it. Press it up and back down. Take it up and back down. You've got five and four. It's three, two, and one. We're not done yet. Stay here, the other leg. Squeeze it up and press up, back down. I know your arms are shaking, that's okay. Come on, we can do this. Breathe, full inhale, full exhale. Keep that body in the right position, pull in those abdominals. Five more. And four. It's three. Two. And one. Wonderful, separate those knees, stretch back. We've landed. Oh, hold it here. So let's bring that around. Grab your heavier weights. And we are going to Lie back with these weights right here. Feet are in. We're gonna start with just a basic chest press. So think of your shoulders, get them into the mat. Your chest is up in the air and bend to 90 degrees and then push back up. In essence, the dumbbells are coming right above the chest. So they're not over your neck and they're not over your belly. They are right over the chest. There we go. Full inhale, full exhale. Now hold them down and only do the right arm, up and down. Keep those abdominals tight. There you go. And this is four and three. Now two and one. Bring that one down, the other side goes up. There we go. Full inhale, full exhale, press it up. And up, you got five, four, Three, two, and one. Bring those down, and we're gonna bring those right by the side, and guess what? We're coming back here. Okay, are you ready? Okay, remember, push-ups. We're working on taking it down a little bit lower than usual. Okay, so your body's a nice straight line. Get it positioned, and we're gonna go down and up. Full inhale, full exhale. Abdominals are really, really tight, and they get tighter when it gets harder. Squeeze them all the way in. That's it. Five. And four. Three. Two. 
and one. Hold it up. Guess what? Squeeze that tush up. Remember, keep the hips down. You still want a straight line from the knee all the way to the shoulders and the tip of the head. Squeeze and back down. You've got five and four, three, two, and one. Switch sides. Press it up. Keep those abs tight. Keep the weight in the hands. Squeeze straight up from that tush. Five, four, three, two, and one. Bring that down. Push it back and hold. Let's flip it around. Grab our dumbbells again. Come back down. And this time, your hands are facing each other. And I want you to come out into like a big giant bear hug. So there's a very little, it's a little bend in the elbow, not much, and it stays that way so that all the movement in essence is only coming from your shoulders. Your elbow just stays exactly where it's at. There we go. Keep that chest up, the shoulders against the floor. Full inhale, full exhale. There you go. Press it out and pull up. That's it. Five more. And four. It's three. Two. And one. Okay, so if these weights are just kind of medium weights, you can keep both dumbbells, but if it feels like it's too heavy, just take one and grab it from the ends. Either way, you're going to bring it down by the sides of the ears or the forehead and then press back up. So your elbows are pointing straight to the sky and you're taking that resistance up. Push straight up and down. So think of the triceps, tighten it up and press that down. Full inhale, full exhale. It's five and four, three, two, and one. Bring that down and let's pull the knees into the chest. Hold it right here. And we're going to cross one foot on the knee and pull it all the way in and hold. And then switch sides. Cross it over and pull it in right here. Here we go. Okay, bringing yourself over. Let's take the smaller weights with us. Okay, we're gonna have those by our sides. Now, we're gonna just start off with one. We don't need them both. Okay, so we're gonna go on all, on all fours. The opposite knee is gonna go out to the side. We did this the other day too, so think about it. Opposite knee goes out to the side, arm goes out to the side, there you go. So you're working the back of the shoulder and you're working the hip at the same time. Pull those abdominals really, really tight. That's it. Full inhale, full exhale. Press it up and lift back down. Take it up and take it down. Five, four, and three, two, one more time, and one. Bring that down. We're going to switch sides. Arm is straight out to the side and bring it up. There you go. Pulling in those abdominals as tight as you can. Press that up and push it down and up there. Five more. Four. Three. Two. And one. Bring that down. Okay. Keep the can. We're going to take the other can. We're going to take our lighter weights. We're going to come up to standing. Okay. And so here's what we're going to do. We have them into our sides. We're going to balance on one leg. So one leg goes back, one leg is in front. And you're going to extend, reach, and then bring it back in. Abs are in nice and tight. You're making a human T, and then bring it in. Keep those abdominals tight. Press and back in. Good. Full inhale, full exhale. You've got five. Press it in. And four. Take that in. It's two. One more. And press it out and bring that down. Ha! Huh. Other side, other side. Here we go. 
Leg is out. Press that up and bring it down. Press out. Ah. So here it is. When you're trying to reach forward, I want you to really think about contracting that tush to get that leg up there. So you got to really squeeze the tush to lift the leg. And press straight out. That's it. You've got five. Pull it in. It's four. Take that in. Three. And two. One more. And one. Oh, bring that down. Okay, let's come back down to the floor. Starting off with both legs straight out. This time take and turn your toes out. And let's just stretch right there, pressing it down and hold. With those toes turned out, big deep breath. And exhale, let the toes turn out a little bit. You'll feel a little bit more in the inner thighs. Now bring the feet together in a butterfly stretch, holding it here and stretch yourself forward, leading from the front of the chest. Big deep breath. And exhale. Okay, let's move those feet out just a little bit, hands up. Take a deep breath and exhale and you're going to tuck your hips under. You're going to work your back towards the floor and when you can't get there because your feet are coming up, you've got to stop and squeeze and pull yourself right back up. So really force these feet into the ground. The minute you can't hold those feet steady, then that's your cue to come all the way up. Ah, There we go. Whew. Full inhale, full exhale. That's it. Big deep breath, big exhale. One more. And press it up and just stretch forward and hold. Ah. So cross those feet in, hands behind the, the head, big deep breath, and exhale and twist to one side. Hold it. And then twist it over to the other side. There we go. One more time, twist it over. Hold it there. And then bring it to the other side. There we go. So let's go all the way back down on the mat. Feet are going to come up, hands behind the head. And so I want you to bring it up into a very high crunch. And remember, the crunch is you're holding the weight of your head. So the crunch is coming from here. You got to squeeze the rib cage in tight so it holds you up. Now you're going to lower those legs and then bring them up. So the key to this is that your back has to stay flat against the mat. So the minute you feel your back like it's arching, that's where you go so you stop and then you pull the legs back in again. And every time the legs move is when you squeeze the abdominals the most. There we go. Keep pulling in those abdominals really, really tight. Full inhale, full exhale. That's it. Press it down and back up. You've got four. And three. Now two. One more time and one bring that in oh hold it right there take both arms out let those legs fall to one side hold it and then bring it over to the other side and hold there we go and just bring it center and we're just going to take it into a basic set of crunches no frills right here so just think rib cage squeeze it tight and then let it go and bring it up and let it go there you go, squeeze it tight and let it go. So let's take the right leg out and pull it in and press out and squeeze and bring it back in. And press out, there you go. And keep thinking, ribs is what's tightening. You're not pulling from the neck, you're squeezing from the ribs to get you up off the floor. One more and bring it up. You're gonna switch legs, press up and again. Squeeze it tight, full inhale, full exhale, press it up, there you go, squeeze, four more, and three, it's two, and one, bring that down, hug those knees into the chest, oh wonderful, okay, grab on underneath, hold those thighs really tight to the body, and then just work on trying to extend the legs and bend. So here's the goal. It's not how straight you get the legs. It's how tight you hold those thighs to your body that actually counts. 
I want you to think about pushing your tailbone into the floor and pressing your heels up towards the sky. And you're gonna feel that stretch go right behind those legs. Push it up, two more. Press it up one more time. And up, hold it, hold it, hold it. Ah, and bring that up, okay. Hands back behind the head, hold it right here. Okay, we're gonna lower those legs again, just like we did a few minutes ago. Think about those abs. Press it down, keeping that back nice and flat. And press back up. Now, if this seems like, oh, I'm getting tired now, we've been doing this for a while, you could bend your knees and do the same thing, okay? So take those legs wherever you feel comfortable with it, keep those abs nice and tight, and also stop and drink water if you need to. Keep going, there we go. And it's four, and three. Now two, and one. Ah, hold those knees in right here. Okay, come up. Now, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna set these right in front of us, okay? Don't get scared. Now, your hands are shoulder distance apart. Your chest kind of lands in between the hands and you've got a nice straight line here. So what we're doing is we're doing a tricep push-up, okay? But what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a tricep push-up. We're gonna lift one can. Tricep push-up, the other weight down. Tricep push-up, lift the weight up, there we go. And your body kind of falls to the side slightly, that's okay. As long as your abdominals are in really, really tight and all your weight feels like it's in your hands, press down and lift. Take it down and lift. Press down and lift, there you go. Press it up. We got three more. This one's one. Take it down. This one's two. Take that down. And this one is three. Take that down and push back. Press it all the way back. There we go. Oh, okay, let's take those cans away. And I want you to come face down onto your mat. We're not resting though. Don't get too, too crazy here. Okay, so allow your legs to rest. Like my feet like to fall out. Your feet can fall in. Whatever it feels like, your legs are just completely relaxed doing nothing, okay? Now, look at the mat. Take your hands right by your shoulders, but we're not gonna push from the floor, okay? So big deep breath, and as you exhale, I want you to lift your chest up without doing anything with your legs, and then just set your chest right back down. As you come up, your shoulder blades go back, you pull in your abdominals, and you take it down. Now, the inclination is gonna be to look up, but that puts a lot of stress in our neck. So I want you to stay looking at the floor, and bring it up. This works your erectors, those muscles that run right along from the back of the neck all the way down to your tailbone. Press it up and push it down. And again, up and down. One more. Keep those abdominals tight. Press it up and bring it down. Okay, now you can rest. Okay, so now bring those knees in. Take those heels together. So your knees are probably a few inches apart. Your heels are pushed together. I want your head on your hands, okay? Head is all the way down. Pull in your abdominals really tight and squeeze the tush as tight as you can, trying to get the thighs off the floor and then bring them back down again. So you're gonna squeeze up and take it back down. Full inhale, full exhale. Now your abdominals have to stay tight. If you start feeling this in your lower back, you're not squeezing your abdominals enough and maybe you're lifting your legs too much. So try to find a middle ground where you feel nothing in your lower back, you only feel it in the hips. Squeeze it up and press it down. Take it back up and down. You've got four and three. Now two and one. Oh, bring yourself all the way back. Stretch it back here, big deep breath. And exhale. And we're gonna come over to the side and you're gonna prop yourself up on your elbow and come all the way up. So, pulling yourself straight up, okay? Abs in nice and tight, this arm. 
I want you to reach underneath like you're going to touch something behind you and then come back up. So that bend comes from this, this shoulder is where it all bends. So reach under as far as you can go and pull it back up again. And keep lifting those hips up. Abs are tight, hips are up in the air and lift. And take it down and up. And if you want to come up on your toes, you can do that too. And you go down and press it up, either one. Press it down and back up. Full inhale, full exhale. This is five. Press it up and four. Take that up. Three. It's up. Two. Take that up. And one. Back up. Oh, bring that down. Stop for a second. Let's take that arm, cross it over the chest and pull it in. Hold it right here, hold it. And now bring it over to the other side and hold. Here we go. So we've got the other side to do. So coming up on that elbow. Again, you can be on your knees or on your toes. It's up to you. Take that arm, go all the way under reach and pull it up. Press it all the way under and up. Keeping those abdominals really, really tight. Press it under and take it up. Full inhale, full exhale. Press it down and back up. Yes. And it's five. Pull that up. Four. There we go. Keep those abs tight. Three. And two. One more time. And it's one. Bring that down. Okay. Take the legs right here. Sitting up super straight and let's pull ourselves over to one side. This is just an intermission, so don't get too excited. Hold it there and bring it over to the other side and hold, stretch it over. And then bring that arm, take it across, hold it there and bring it over and take the arm across. So let's get our heavier weights and you're gonna stay seated, okay? We're going to bring these guys up here at shoulder level. So our goal is 90 degrees with the elbows, the shoulders are down, away from the ears, and then you're gonna press up and bring it back down. And the key to this is not to allow your shoulders to come up by the ears. So you're constantly pulling your shoulders down and you can feel that tension pushing the shoulders down even though your arms are going up. There you go, full inhale, full exhale. That's it, keeping the abdominals really, really tight. And this is five and four. Three, two, and one. Bring that down. Ah, oh, good, okay. Stretch out over those legs one more time for me. Take the right hand to the left side of the foot and reach that way as much as you can and hold it. It could be outside over here in the leg, just the left side, okay? And come up and do the same thing the other way. Abs are in really tight, and even though I'm stretching forward, I'm still trying to lift my chest up so that my spine stays as straight as possible. Bring it center, both hands back, pull them up, lift that chest, abs are in nice and tight. So now as the hands are up, the chest is up, take your chin, press it down, and you'll feel the stretch behind the neck. And bring it up, and now just turn the chin to one side, and turn it to the other side. There we go, let that go. So we're gonna hold one leg in, sit up really, really tall, and drag this foot in, trying to keep a nice straight line, and push out through the heel, tightening up the quad. And you're gonna pull it in and push out. Full inhale, full exhale. Press it in and out. There we go. Push it out, thinking really tall with the body. Press it in and push it out. You've got four and three, now two and one. Yes, and bring that leg down, other side. Pull yourself up nice and tall, abs are in tight. Bring that leg in and push it out. Think quadricep, top of the thigh, press it out. Full inhale, full exhale, that's it. Really tall with the body. You've got five and four, three, two, 
and one. Bring that down. Okay, let's have one shin down on the ground. The other one's going to land right on top of it as best as we can. Sometimes the knee will come down, sometimes it won't. That's okay. Sit nice and tall and press yourself forward. Hold it. Big deep breath. And exhale and hold, leading with the chest. And now we're going to take the top leg so that the knee is over the knee. And we're going to stretch over that right there. And bring that up. So now lift up that knee, grab it with the opposite arm, and twist behind you as much as you can. Lifting really, really tall with the spine. And bring that center. Let's switch sides. So the other one is on top. First come down from there. Lead with the chest. Big deep breath. And exhale and hold. And now let's take this leg all the way over and again press that down and hold it. Hold it there. And bring it center. Pull that leg in and twist behind you and hold it. Big deep breath. And exhale. Hold it, hold it. And bring that center across the legs, both hands behind the head. Big deep breath. And exhale, twist as much as you can right there. Hold it. And then do the same thing on the other side. And hold. And we're going to bring those weights away from us for a minute here. And you're going to lie down on the floor. Let's take both hands out to the side. Both feet come up. And I want you to take those legs over to one side. Keep the shoulders on the floor completely. Both shoulders totally into the floor. And then squeeze the abs to come up. And do the same thing to the other side. And bring that up. And take it over. Full inhale. Full exhale. That's it. Press it up and back over. There you go. Keeping the shoulder down on the ground. Really squeezing the abdominals to move you. Press it up, and again, keeping those abdominals really, really tight. You've got four, and three. Now two, okay, this is going to be the toughie. So one, this time, I want you to bring it all the way over, right here. So here we are, we're on our side. Take this bottom arm in, abs are in real tight, and we're going to lift this leg and lower it. Full inhale, full exhale. I'm going to back up a little bit on the mat. So you're resting, both feet are in front. We're going to lift and lower. And press up and down. Now, if your legs can't come all the way in 90, that's okay. Move them at an angle. The key is the hip should be stacked one on top of the other. Full inhale, full exhale. One more. And now hold it up. We're going to bend the knee, push away, bring it in, press out. Bring it in and push away, keeping these hips stacked. So the goal is not to allow your pelvis to roll forward nor back. Bring it in, push out. Bring it in, push away. Bring it in and push out. And push away. There we go. Push it out and away. This is five. Press it out and four. Push out, it's three, take it out, we got this two, take it out one more time, and one, bring it out, <sighs> okay, the other side, here we go. So as much of a 90 degree as you can with your body, hips are stacked one on top of the other and we're going to start off by lifting this top leg up and down. Keeping that pelvis centered right in the middle. Press it up and down. You've got four, three, two, and one. Hold it. So we're going to bring it in. We're going to push away. And then we're going to push it to the front. And I want you to push like it's heavy. Bring it in and press it out. And push it away and bring it out. There we go. Abs are all the way in. Your pelvis is staying in one spot. Push it out and bring it in. And this is five. 
push out and four take it out it's three push it out and two there we go one more time one more time press it out and bring that in ah, and drop that down bring yourself back up oh rolling up okay one foot crosses on the knee and let's stretch that forward and then switch sides. So bring that foot on the knee and stretch that forward. And bring it in, crossing both legs, taking both arms out, let's squeeze the shoulder blades back and together and then let that go. Again, squeeze it back and let it go. Press it back, let that go, good. Squeeze it all the way back and let that go. Press it back, you got four, and it's three, and two, now one. Awesome, take it out, turn those thumbs out, pull it back and press forward, get that stretch in there. Try to angle your arms up a little bit and then bring it in again, big deep breath. And exhale, again, bring it in, deep breath. Exhale, pull those arms up and back, bring it in and press it up and back one more time. Bring it in and press it up. Hold it, hold it, hold it. And take that center, drop those down. Okay, roll those shoulders up and back. Bring it up and press it back one more. And take it down and just hold it here. We're gonna take a moment for ourselves. Close your eyes and just listen to the sound of your breath. And I want you to really try to make the breath louder than usual. Full inhale, full exhale. And so you're gonna slowly count to the number four as you inhale. And once you get to four, you're gonna hold your breath for four. And then you're gonna exhale for four. Hold your breath again for four. And inhale for four. Hold your breath for four and exhale for four and hold your breath again for four and exhale completely so i want you to try to inhale as much as you possibly can make it as long of an inhale as you possibly can and then slowly exhale and let all the air out of your body we're gonna do that one more time. And you're gonna inhale, really extend that breath as far as you can go. And then exhale and let it all go out as much as you can. And open your eyes. And let's just take both hands behind the head, take a big deep breath and as you exhale, chin to chest and hold it right here. Bring that head up, turn it to one side, and press it down there. And bring it up, turn it to the other side, and press it down. Hold it. And bring it back to center. Take those shoulders, roll them up, and press it back. One more. Okay, and so here's what we're gonna do. You're gonna come up to your feet, okay? And I want you to separate your feet slightly and I want you to work your way down. So you can either hold onto your legs or you can get your fingertips to the floor wherever you reach. And once you're at the one spot that you're at, I want you to think tailbone. Try to push your tailbone way away from you. Hands are on the floor, hands are on your legs. You can bend your knees ever so slightly and hold it. And now just round your back up halfway and then exhale and try to go down a little further and hold it. And again, round your back 
and exhale, try to go down a little further, push the tailbone way back, and now work your way to one side and hold it there. And then slowly work your way to the other side and hold it there. And bring it back to center, big deep breath, and exhale, tuck your tush under, and then slowly roll yourself all the way up with the shoulders going up and back. Take and grab your hands behind you, just like this, and pull them back and hold it here. Take the chin, press it straight down and hold. Turn your arms to one side, and now turn it to the other. and then come back to center. You guys are done. Thank you so much. Give yourselves a big hand. So thank you for coming to class. I hope you feel strong. I feel real strong. We've got to keep doing this. The more we work out, the better our body is. And guess what? We boost up our immune system and we just become healthier all over. So please check out my other videos and we will check you out next time. Bye for now.